Hey babes, today I am going to be showing you how to make this creamsicle orange ombre to pastel pink wig and on oh my days she's beautiful. She is so beautiful. I really honestly didn't know what color to make this wig into but I decided on this and I'm super super happy with it. I revived an old wig as well so I'm going to show you the process from start to finish how to turn a ratty wig into bombshell uh, pastel realness. So guys, I've got this 613 wig, which I've had for a few years now. She's toned, but she's a little bit dry. What we're going to do is going to revamp it with some bundles and some new wefts and make the hair a little bit thicker as well. So what we're going to do is section the wig using a teasing comb. So I'm going to use a line weft of weave to so section that nice and straight. I'm going to size up my weft. You see this new shiny weave? We're going to be using that. Cut off however much you need. This method is way, way easy. I am just actually going to be using weave bonding glue. Now you can secure this with a weaving needle and thread. But, yo, listen, I was lazy. I didn't want to do that. I do have a weaving needle and thread. But sometimes you just gotta be quick. Um, so what I done was I just added a thin layer of black weave glue onto the track and literally applied that onto the wig, onto the track where it already was. And it just makes the wig thicker and combining it with the older wefts, it just revamps the old wig. I am going to be sectioning about four wefts up and keep doing that until we get to the top. Yo listen, this worked. It worked. It made the wig hella soft. I just cut off the ends of the old wig as well once it was dry and if you are worried about the black showing through, I mean I really wasn't because at the end you really won't see the black weave bond you do have white transparent weave bond that you can buy i just don't like that because i think it's not as strong as the black right kids the most exciting part of the process which is the dyeing part i'm going to flip my wig inside out and just throw some gotta be glued on there so that it protects the wig the knots from getting dyed i'm going to be using my adore in ginger mixing that in and plopping that into room temperature water. I don't really think that it matters if it's like hot water, cold water or like room temperature, it doesn't really matter. I'm just mixing that in with my fork and I'm also going to be using my crazy colour hair dye in coral. It's like a bright coral colour just to make it a little bit brighter and I kind of diluted the hair dye a lot and dip the wig in bit by bit, adding more colour to the water. You can see here I'm kind of test testing the water and it was just kind of making it into like a wee yellowy colour, which I wasn't really into to be honest. It was making it just like look like a brassy wig. Um, so what I will do is just keep on adding more colour as I go along, um, whisking it with the uh, fork and re-dipping it in and out. Now you can see that's a way way better colour and you can just keep adding more colour, dip the wig in more and more until you get your desired colour rather than putting too much of the dye first time round. Now onto the pink dip dye ombre look. I'm going to be using Cotton Candy Pink from Adore. Now, she'd be looking hella bright on this new tub of water, so I was like, right, it looks a bit bright, but it wasn't pigmented at all. So I added more colour in, and you can see that she is looking bapping with this pastel pinky colour. Now, you see what i done before. I used a hair tie to divide the colour so that the ends weren't going to be dyed. Now, what I'm going to do is dip the ends and transition it into the orange and you can see here I am smiling with my taggies out. 
Now, this is actually two days later. I went on holiday in the meantime to Lincoln on a caravan holiday park with my family. Um, and then let it dry. I added some oil into her, cut the ends off. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to curl it. I'm sectioning off the wig and working in little section. I'm going to be using my Mark Hill Ellipse Wand Curler. Um, shout out Sabrina, Love Laughing Makeup, you know how we do for being the face of Mark Hill, the colours, uh, the pick and mix range. I am going to be just curling it away from the face. And honestly, curling this was so beautiful. This, like, curler is one of my favourites. It's probably one of my favourites for creating that big voluminous body now she kind of looks like a little bit goldilocks right now but once we brush her out later honestly it makes the most perfect body waves so now that we've got the whole of one side i am going to just curl the other side and flipping the curl over so it all directs the hair outwards from your face if that makes sense we want the right side of our face to go one direction and then the left side of our face to go another direction last curl look at her mm. now i'm just going to be using some got to be glued hairspray from schwarzkopf i'm going to be using that product throughout the whole video and I'm just brushing her through. You see how easily this brushes through the wig? Like adding the oils in, adding the wefts into the hair has really helped this wig out. She was so dry you guys even through washing and conditioning but you can see that I'm just shaping her with my paddle brush and she'd be looking like a whole new wig as if I just bought her. Like, she looks beautiful, the colour is beautiful, I'm so, 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 so happy with it. Now, I was filming this, like, what, at 1am in the morning at this point? I filmed this over a course of, like, a few days. But I'm just adding some water onto my install right now, taking it off so that I can show you to put the other one on. Take it off, Mark, go on. There you go. I'm just going to be using a baby wipe and cleaning the surrounding area. And I'm just going to be using my Got To Be Glued hairspray again and spraying a thin layer of that, cold blow drying that area. And I'm going to be doing two layers of that. Now once it's tacky, then you can apply the wig onto your head, then you just center it, and then flap it on, flap it on. I'm going to be doing my baby hairs and all the extraness, parting, combing it out, all of that off camera, just because I was actually balancing this mirror on my lap right here. And if you want me to do an in-depth video of how to apply your wigs, and make it look a little bit more on point, then let me know down below. Hey, it's lit! Look at it, it's so beautiful. I, I, got, I can't get over it. To be honest, like, I really want to do this method a lot more. I mean, I, I can't be affording, like, 613 wigs and west, left, right and centre like that, but I really want to do more of these videos for you guys, I'm not going to lie. Look at it, it's beautiful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, you know the drill. Bye, guys!